Welcome to the Best Coast Shire Council Report, your weekly update on council news and events. Hi, I'm Lauren Grills. And I'm Steve Fury. Welcome to this week's show, where we'll do a quick recap on the decisions from last week's council meeting. We've also just released a draft management plan for Air Creek and Inverloch, which we'd like everyone to have a look at and let us know what you think. And we ran out of time last week during our interview with Park Supervisor Richard Clarkson, so he'll be back a little later on. First up today though, Lauren, there will be some footpath maintenance works this week in San Remo. Now hopefully the weather holds out for us so it can all be finished by the weekend. But they're going to take place along Marine Parade between Beach Road and Wind Road in two sections. Now all up, the area of work's about 30 metres long and there will be traffic controls in place as well as some pedestrian controls to help you watch your step. All the property and business owners who might be affected by these works have been notified in writing. Moving on, Air Creek in Inverloch holds a special place in the hearts of locals or anyone who has been along the walking track there. It's just beautiful and we've just released a draft management plan which aims to keep it that way while balancing activities like walking and cycling. And as well as those things, Lauren, it may not be obvious, but Air Creek is a council-managed drainage reserve. So the plan also looks at the impact of works to deal with flooding and threats like water quality issues, erosion and pest plants. You can have a look at the draft plan and have your say at an open house event at the Inverloch Community Hub on the 5th of May from 3 to 7pm. The draft plan is also available from our website at basscoast.vic.gov.au forward slash Air Creek, that's A-Y-R-C-R-E-E-K, or you could also contact Contact Council's Environment Officer Diana Whittington on 03-5671-2125 or email d.whittington, that's d.whittington at basscoast.vic.gov.au. Now the draft was one of many that were passed at last week's council meeting. We also saw the draft natural environment strategy, the draft economic development strategy, the sports and active recreation needs assessment, the draft Phillip Island and San Remo tourism strategy 2035, that's a big one, as well as the draft council budget for 2016-17. Now, all of these are now out for community feedback, so please download a copy from our website or ask for a hard copy at any of our customer service centres. We'll also be holding some Q&A sessions on the draft budget starting next week. There's a Facebook session on Thursday the 5th of May. Then there will be two face-to-face sessions, one on the 9th at the Cows Heritage Centre and one on the 10th at the Old Post Office in Watt Street, Wontaggy. Check Council's Facebook page or our website for more details or give us a call on the numbers at the end of the show. Uh, We also now welcome back Richard Clarkson for more on what the Parks team have been up to. Richard, your team has a really busy summer period with the major holiday months and fire season. So what works have been underway? Uh, Well, since Christmas and even prior to Christmas, a lot of our work programming has been scheduled around events that happen throughout the Basco Show. These events include uh, things like Australia Day, the Lobster Festival, Superbikes, the Human Powered Vehicles event, Easter and of course Anzac Day. Well, mate, that's quite a few. And what about regular works that you carry out throughout the year, like your regular maintenance work? Uh, Sure. I mean, we've been doing a lot of our general maintenance works, which include roadside clearance for trees, general tree work. We've been doing a lot of uh, mowing around the reserves and parks and gardens that we maintain. We're preparing our annual displays for the next plantings, as well as looking after the toilet blocks and skate parks, where we've had a lot of litter and graffiti. Yep, okay. And you guys obviously look after the, the roundabout gardens as well, which all, always look pretty stunning. Yeah, thanks. And I understand it's actually individual staff members that select the plants that go in them from time to time, is that right? Or? Uh, yes, it's a team effort and a lot of input gets given from all the team members and we try and come up with a compromise of design from everyone's own kind of personal designs and also consider what would fit within the location. So depending on whether it's at Inverloch or Wonthaggy or Cows, we try and use the type of plants that might you know fit in around that that space yeah that's great that's it and i also know that your team looks after all the restoration of the ovals between the footy and cricket season so all the recreation reserves around the shire and a small team operating over 865 square kilometers so you guys will be pretty busy yeah we put a lot of work into these so a lot of the park staff actually qualified horticulturalists or studying in that field aren't they Yes, that's yep, correct. Yeah. Yep. So is that yourself included? Yeah that's, yeah, yeah, that's right. You as well, yeah. yeah. All right, Richard, thanks for coming in. No worries, Steve. Thanks for having me. And that's all we've got time for this week. As always, if you have any questions or need more information about anything we've mentioned, you can give us a call on 1300 Beak Host. That's 1300 226 278 or 03 And keep up to date on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Bass Coast Shire. And you can follow us on Twitter at Bass Coast. Catch you next week for more council news. 
The Best Coast Shire Council Report is broadcast on Tuesday mornings at 9.30, Thursday afternoons at 4.30 and on Saturday mornings at 10 on your community station 3MFM. Audio and transcript is also available from our website, bascoast.vic.gov.au.